In this video, we're going to solve the equation 2 sine 2x plus 3 cosine 2x equals 1, where x is in degrees from 0 to 360. Okay? So, you can kind of guess what we're going to use, right? The fact that this is in the equivalent form section. Um, so, what we need to do is come up with uh, an equivalent form setup um, that will replace the 2 sine 2x plus 3 cosine 2x. Okay, so I would want to be able to write the 2 sine 2x plus 3 cosine 2x as r times sine of 2x plus alpha or cosine of 2x minus alpha. Now the reason why um, I'm looking for sine of 2x plus alpha or sine of co sorry, cosine of 2x minus alpha, right, is because of this plus sign. Because I know that both of those formats will give me the plus in the middle. So, let's use sine of 2x plus alpha. Okay, so I'm going to go with that equivalent form. Now, you might be going, well, which one should I use? The, the answer to that is you could use either. If the question doesn't say, you could use either form. All I've been told is solve this. Okay, it doesn't tell me which method I should definitely use. So, I'm going to go with this. So, this is my equivalent form. So, I'm going to have r lots of, now, expanding that using the compound angle formula, that's sine 2x cosine alpha plus cosine 2x sine alpha. Right, now I'm going to expand that out, bring the alphas to the front. So that we've got r cosine alpha sine 2x plus r sine alpha cosine 2x. So the number that is in front of the sine 2x here must be the same as what we have there. So r cosine alpha must be equal to 2. And 3 must be r sine alpha. Now, if I rearrange those two to get cosine alpha is 2 over r and sine alpha is 3 over r, I can then draw a right angle triangle. There's my alpha. Cosine of alpha is adjacent over hypotenuse, so 2 over r, and opposite side must be 3. So r squared is equal to 2 squared plus 3 squared. So r is the square root of this. So that's 4 plus 9, so root 13. And alpha is going to be the inverse tan of 3 halves. So inverse tan of 3 halves is 56.3099321. Right, so now I have can replace the left-hand side with root 13 sine of x, plus, sorry, 2x, 2x plus alpha, which is, uh, you know, I could write it as ta inverse tan of 3 alpha, so I'll write this 56.3, etc. degrees, okay? And that's got to be equal to 1. So I now need to solve this equation between 0 and 360. So I'm going to divide through by the root 13 first. So 1 over root 13. I'm going to do a quick little sketch of sine. 1 over root 13. OK. So two solutions there. So it's just reminding me that I've got, the first solution I find, I've got to subtract the next one from 180. Okay. So 2x plus the 56.3 dot, 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 dot degrees is equal to, so inverse sine of 1 over root 13 gets me 16.10211375. So that's the first solution there. And the second solution I need to subtract from 180, 
which is 163.8978862. Okay. Then I've got to apply the two transformations. So I need to subtract 56.3, etc., and then divide through by 2. So I'm going to subtract, rather than typing all that in, I'm just going to subtract the inverse tan of 3 halves. And then divide by 2. So this one is 53.79397689 degrees. Uh, this solution here um, is inverse sine of 1 over root 13. Then I need to take away the inverse tan of 3 halves. And then I need to divide by 2, and we get minus 20.1039093636, etc. Okay, so this solution's outside the range. This one is inside. Now, we're dealing with sine 2x here, which has a period of 180 degrees rather than 360. So what I now need to do is just keep on adding on 180s, onto my solutions to find all the remaining solutions within the range of 0 to 360. So I'm going to add on 180, and I get x is 159.8960906. If I add on 180 to that, I get another solution, 339.8960906. If I add 180 onto that, I'm going to be outside the range. Right, let's get this one. So 53.79397689. And I'm going to add on 180. So x is 233.79397769 degrees. And then, if I add 180 onto that, I'm going outside the range. I'm getting 413, right? So these, so that one, that one, that one, and that one are the four solutions I'm looking for. So the lowest is that one, so 53.8 degrees. Um, then that 159.9 degrees. Then we've got this one, 233.8 degrees. And then this one, 339.9 degrees to one decimal place. And so that is how we can find the four solutions to this original problem using the equivalent forms.